Breaking right now at 4, we're beginning with the latest out of Ukraine today. This is one of the first signs that we saw of what's being termed a Russian invasion into the country. Ukraine says so far dozens are dead, and Russia says it has destroyed nearly 100 military facilities across Ukraine, along with gaining control of the Chernobyl nuclear plant. Thanks for joining us here for Queen City News at 4. I'm Annie Satowski. We want to get you up to speed on the very latest involving that war in Ukraine. The attack began around 4.30 this morning in Ukraine with over 100 ballistic crews and surface-to-air missiles pounding parts of the country. It is the largest military invasion in Europe since World War II. The U.S. has ordered the deployment of 7,000 more troops to Germany. This afternoon, President Biden announced a new round of sanctions targeting Russian banks, oligarchs, and high-tech sectors. So we're going to bring in Derek Dellinger now, who's been monitoring all of the latest video coming out of Ukraine this afternoon. Derek, what are we seeing? Well, there's quite a bit to get through. And just so you know, this is a live picture of the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv. We've been keeping an eye on this throughout the day, but some of the things that we've been seeing on this camera really only tell a part of the story. We want to go and show you some of this video right now. The attacks have led to people going into subway stations and quite Quite literally bunkering down underground to avoid any blasts or military troop movements. This was the scene today as this was happening. As you can see, people were packing into this area with some reportedly asking where that help is coming from from other countries. Now, as you mentioned, Annie, several uh, Russian troops have taken control of Chernobyl. You might remember this was an area that suffered a catastrophic nuclear accident back in 1986 that led to tens of thousands of people being evacuated. The area is still radioactive. It is important to note that the accident is considered one of the key moments that led to the end of the Cold War. So Russian troops taking control there is really a significant symbolic development. We also have some video at Ukraine's border with uh, the country of Poland, where people have been crossing the border to get to safety. Right now, Poland, along with two other countries in Europe, they have also increased their military readiness as Russia's push continues. President Biden is calling what Russia is doing a premeditated attack. And we also have already seen uh, demonstrations here in the U.S. and also in Russia against the attack. Coming up at 4.30, a look at the response that we've seen so far. Annie? All right, Derek, thank you for that breakdown.